It all began with a dramatic scene. Tollywood star Nagarjun's N Convention Center, a huge property in Hyderabad's Madhapur, got flattened by bulldozers. You've probably seen the video. A massive building allegedly encroaching on 1.12 acres of land from Tamirikunta Lake's buffer zone demolished by the Hyderabad Disaster Response and Asset Protection Agency, that is the Hydra, last Saturday. Nagarjun claimed the land was legally his and had a stay order. He took to social media expressing his outrage. The demolition was carried out wrongfully, based on misinformation. So what is going on? Hyderabad is in the middle of a bulldozer frenzy led by Hydra, the city's answer to illegal land grabs. Since June, this government agency set up under Chief Minister A. Revant Reddy has been on a demolition spree, targeting illegal constructions like there's no tomorrow. The unstoppable force that is Hydra has become a symbol of bulldozer justice in Telangana. The numbers are insane. Since its inception by Raven Reddy government on June 27, that is in just two months, Hydra has pulled down 166 illegal structures. That's right, buildings, bungalows, convention centres and more. It has reclaimed 43.94 acres of land. The agency has swept through the city toppling structures that belong to influential individuals, politicians and businessmen, making it clear that it will spare nobody. Among those who face the wrath of Hydra are Pallamanan, brother of former Union Minister M.M. Pallam Raju, G.V. Bhaskar Rao, the owner of Kaveri Seeds and a former TTD member, BJP leader Sunil Reddy, who contested for the Mantena Assembly seat. Even members of the AIMIM, including legislator Mohammad Mubeen and MLC Mirza Rahmat Beg, had their properties demolished around Rajendra Nagar. In total, Hydra has recovered lands from 30 lakes, within the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation or the GHMC limits, with the most number of demolitions taking place at Chintal Cheruhu and Boomrak Daula lakes. Not everyone is thrilled with Hydra's approach. Politicians from various parties have cried foul, accusing the government of using Hydra for political vendettas. The BRS claims that the Congress government is selectively targeting its leaders, like BRS MLA Palla Rajeshwar Reddy, who challenged the government to prove that his buildings were illegal. AIMIM chief Asaduddin OVC has also questioned Hydra's legality, asking if the government will also target Necklace Road, which he claims is in a similar encroachment zone. Chief Minister Reddy, on the other hand, insists that Hydra's actions are above board. He has repeatedly emphasised that the agency will go after encroachment regardless of the owner's political affiliations, promising we will restore the lakes to their pristine glory and those who have built illegally will face the consequences. Reddy also said that he sought inspiration from the Bhagavad Gita. Much like Arjuna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, Reddy said he is fulfilling his righteous duty to the people of Telangana. We will not succumb to pressure, he declared at a recent event. With bulldozers come politics. A lot of politics. Chief Minister Revant Reddy has drawn heavy inspiration from UP's Chief Minister, Yogi Adityanath, whose bulldozer justice set a precedent for swift, no-nonsense demolitions. I can't say if he's inspired by Bhagavad Gita or the Yogi government, but either way, Revant Reddy is very close to his RSS roots. Love it or hate it, Hydra is on a mission. With 166 structures already down and counting, there is no sign of this demolition frenzy slowing down anytime soon. I'm Deepthi Rao, you are watching India Today, So South.